Kevin, from the moment I met you, I knew I was in trouble. You have given me butterflies from the first day I saw you in my drive-thru at the coffee shop. Those butterflies have never gone away and I pray that they never do go away. Never in a million years did I think the man coming through my drive-thru every Saturday night would be the person I stand here today to marry. You have shown me how consistent love feels and looks like. I am so excited to enter this next chapter with you by my side and God in between us. Thank you for pushing through the hard times that we have encountered and the ones that we will encounter. Marriage isn't easy, but I believe and pray that we will get through anything that is thrown our way, and I will try hard not to be so stubborn. KJ, can you believe that it is finally our wedding day? Who would have thought that four years ago we would be celebrating this next chapter in our lives together? I can't thank God enough for putting you into my life and rescuing me. Before I met you, my life was headed in a terrible direction. God put you in my life to guide me back on his path, and I will be forever grateful for that. Your love for our Lord and your desire to have our marriage centered around him is truly a blessing. You have shown me what true love really is. You have accepted me, loved me, and honored me through some of the lowest of lows. I vow to always remember to put my best foot forward to be the best husband for you. I promise to speak to you and about you with kindness and compassion. I promise to continue to keep you laughing and making you feel as young as I am. I promise to love you always, deeply, and selflessly, treasuring our friendship and love above everything else but God. I promise to be your safe space, your roof in the storm, and to remind you of your strength, abilities, and your worth. I promise to push you to be a better version than yesterday in every aspect in life. I promise to be faithful to you and listen to your heart. I pray we never lose the spark between us. I want to be by your side until the day God calls you home. I can't get through it. <laughs> Since we started dating, we have been inseparable. I never get sick of you, and it blows my mind how after four years, I just want to hang out with you every day. I never imagined I would find someone I would want to spend so much time with. You truly touch my life in inexplainable ways. Whenever I look at you, I see my future. Not everything will be able to be conquered by just the two of us, so I promise to allow our faith in Jesus continue to guide us on our journey together. As written in Matthew chapter 19, verse 6, So they are no longer two, but one flesh. Therefore, what God has joined together, let no one separate. I, Kevin, receive you, Kirsten. I, Kevin, receive you, Kirsten. To be my wife. To be my wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to respect. To love and to respect. Until death separates us. Until death separates us. Until death separates us. Thank you for trusting me to step in and love on your daughter. Paisley, as I promise my love, support, and loyalty to your dad, I also promise this to you. From the moment that I stepped into your life, the love I see your dad give you has made me so happy. And your presence in my life makes this marriage that much more precious to me. I promise to give you a warm and loving home, and I look forward to sharing our lives together and all the happy memories to come. The way you mother Paisley, with love and consistency, constantly melts my heart. 
The way she looks at you and admires you tells me you are more than qualified to be a lifetime mother to her. You have become such an amazing role model to Paisley. I would be forever grateful if she turns out to be just like you. I vow to love the both of you for the rest of my life with every ounce of me. I vow to always keep God in our doors and to raise our family with him in all of our hearts. Kevin, I love you forever and I'm so excited to be your wife. I promise to love you, be faithful to you, and honor you for the rest of my life. I love you, Kevin. journey. Here's to a life of health, prosperity, happiness. Cheers. I'm proud of you two, and I wish you both a lifetime of love. After all these years, I get butterflies when you walk into a room. In my eyes, you grow more attractive day by day. People always say passion will fade, but I want you as much today as I did when I first met you. And I will want you more tomorrow. I promise to keep those butterflies alive when we are old, wrinkly, and gray. I pray daily that you have confidence in yourself. I am so thankful for your patience, love, kindness, resilience, and determination. All your qualities make me want to spend a lifetime with you. Each one seems to constantly balance me out, not only by teaching me new things, but making me feel complete. The camaraderie we have created that is intimate on multiple levels is unmatched. It continues to grow and makes me want to spend a lifetime with you as my companion. As we become older, things are going to change. Our thoughts, our ideas, our bodies. I promise to adapt to all our changes in time and continue to be stronger as one with you. Well, Kevin and Kirsten, by the authority granted me by the state of Washington and as a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Kevin, you may kiss your bride. Thank you.